Hello guys, today I want to show you a package called Laravel Lift, which became pretty popular pretty quick in Laravel ecosystem. First, I want to apologize for my voice, I have a little flu, but I hope you will still get the message of the video. So Laravel Lift was released roughly a month ago, so three weeks ago, at the time of shooting this video, by this guy, Wendell Adriel. Pretty active Laravel community member, I met him in person in Portugal in Lisbon at Laracon EU, and his idea turned into a package which helps you to describe eloquent models and model features with PHP attributes. And PHP version 8 attributes became kind of a new thing in quite a few Laravel projects. For example, Livewire 3 use attributes for Livewire component properties. And this is what Wendell is suggesting us to do. This is kind of an alternative syntax to your typical eloquent models. So this is how your model could look. You use lift package and you define properties with attributes on top. Then it allows you to not define things in different syntax. And there are quite a few attributes available, but I've tried just a few of them and I will show it to you in action. So here's a typical small eloquent model category with products. This comes from my Filament 3 course for a very simple filament resource, but even if you don't work with filament, what you need to know is just category list with amount of products. And under the hood, it uses this eloquent model. Now what lift allows us to do, for example, we add use lift, I already installed that package, it's just compose require, nothing really fancy, so we use lift, and then we define the name as a property of that class. So public string name, like this. And then on top, we can add attributes. For example, instead of defining fillables here, you can do hash, and then fillable here, which comes from the package. So the syntax itself is PHP syntax for attributes, but this particular attribute of fillable comes from lift. And then also instead of defining the relationship has many, you can do on top of class attribute has many product class and PHP storm autocompletes a lot of things for me. And then what we do, we delete those two things. And this is how our model looks like with lift. We refresh the page, it still works. If we want to define a new category, something, something, create, it still works. Feels like magic, doesn't it? Now, of course, this is not the new Laravel syntax or the preferred way to do that. This is just one of the options. And attributes in general, are a quite polarizing topic in Laravel community. I've heard on multiple podcasts and on Twitter discussions whether they are useful or not. For example, in Livewire 3, I tried to use them, but they are useful for simple syntax options. But as soon as you get to like more complex validation rules or something like that, then their use becomes limited. But if some of you prefer that syntax to define things in this way in Eloquent, instead of the default Eloquent syntax, you may check out Laravel Lift. In the documentation, you will find more attributes like validation, like primary key, like casting and others. And let's discuss in the comments. What do you think about this new syntax? Would you use it? Apparently, a lot of people would, at least if you judge by the amount of GitHub stars, 450 stars for a package that is just weeks old. Pretty impressive. So yeah, let's discuss in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to get more package reviews like this one and see you guys in other videos.